Welcome to the campus of East Hamilton High School. It's the Chargers of Chattanooga Christian visiting Ottawa to take on the Hurricanes. Thank you for tuning in for TSSAA Basketball here on East Hamilton TV. I'm Gabriel Shry and thrilled to have you along with us for this great matchup. CCS led by Westmore has lost eight straight contests. They are 12 and 13 overall in the season. 0-6 in district play to this point in the late stages of the year. One interesting note is they've scored nine more points this season as a team than East Hamilton and the Hurricanes. They've averaged 73 per game. The Hurricanes have done very well to this point on the season. They stand at 19 and seven overall. East Hamilton is looking to finish the season strong and they are currently ranked first in the district on CoachT.com thanks to their fantastic play. Right now, starting lineups being introduced down on the floor. A, a couple of quick notes. East Hamilton is 10 of their last 12. They have won. Been very, very effective. One of those losses came to Chattanooga Central. It was just a two-point loss. So very, very good down the stretch. Only losing a couple of games. And that's why this gymnasium is packed here tonight in front of a home crowd for the Hurricanes as they introduce their starting lineups down on the floor and they are all fired up, I can tell you that. Exciting stuff here. Right now, Juan Bullard coming out on the floor. He's a starter here tonight, as is Caden Herman. They've been so great on the front court for East Hamilton. Juan Bullard, obviously great in all facets of athletics for East Hamilton High School. He has just been electric here, and this is his senior season playing for the Hurricanes. Lincoln Scruggs getting the nod here tonight. He's wearing number 10. That's who just came onto the floor. This is the point guard, Ashton Munson. He has just been electric, scoring very efficiently from all around the floor. And then last but not least, the big man, Zachariah Labou, six foot six, 220 pounder, and he throws that frame around all across the floor on the offensive and defensive end. Getting the nod here tonight for the Chargers in Chattanooga Christian, Reed Connolly wearing number one, number two, Dwight Jackson, number three, Eli Houston, number 21, Jermaine Stinson, and number 23, Caden Baldwin. All very, very effective, very electric players up and down the floor. Exciting to see how this matchup will play out here tonight in Ottawa, Tennessee. The Chargers on the right side of your screen, they're wearing gold with blue accents. The Hurricanes on the left side wearing white with green accents. Thank you for being with us on East Hamilton TV. We're about to get underway. The tip won initially by the Chargers there. Caden Baldwin going up against Labou for it and swatted at, somehow found its way out of play. Inbounding pass from Houston here. Here come the Chargers. Quickly firing in transition, that'll go. They lead 2-0. Trey Jackson, the first on the board. And the putback by Caden Herman down inside. Early lead change there, Caden Herman gets his first bucket. Now from long range, this one rattles around and is boarded momentarily by Labou. Regathered by Herman. Herman being harassed from behind, wants to pass this away. He does, it's intercepted and then regathered by Labou. Here come the Chargers. 
Ball loose for a moment, trying to slow things up and immediately being harassed right in front of the student section. Hurricanes will get the basketball back thanks to the defensive efforts of Caden Herman. Reed Connolly was just trying to slow things down there, see if he could get some help, pass the ball away, get his offense to work, and just couldn't quite do it. This one fired from beyond the arc. A lot of contact there on the whistle. 62 seconds gone, already a foul, and already our first tie. Two all. Caden Herman to the line here. He gets his first. Herman already up to three points. Second is off the mark for him. Third will go. Here come the Chargers. Firing in motion. Now the foul, a lot of contact there. Labou swatting at Stinson, trying to maintain possession of the ball. And so that'll send Stinson to the line. His first will go. He's on the board. Second one comes up short. The rebound, and that one won't drop. Bullard somehow gets the board there. One point ball game here. Quick feed to the elbow and a foul there as he gets the shot off. Jermaine Stinson fouled Caden Herman there. You could hear that from all the way up here in the booth. 90 seconds gone in period one, one point ball game. As Herman will get his first at the line. He's already had four shots from the charity stripe up to five points. Second will go as well for Herman. East Hamilton leads six to three. Chattanooga Christian back to the offensive end. Pass down inside and Stinson just misfired right there. Here comes Ashton Munson. Munson on the fast break from just outside of the painted area, boarded by Conley. Reed Conley behind the back, slows it up, flip to the corner. Chargers have it stolen by Labou, who puts it off the legs of Eli Houston. That'll be out of play on the Chargers. Big heads up play by the big man. And so now Caden Herman will direct the floor and traffic here. Two minutes gone in period one. Hurricanes want the deep ball. This one comes up just short. Boarded by Houston. Long pass up the floor. Gorgeous little Euro step. Just can't pull off the bucket on the end. Good look and play there by Baldwin. Now Munson wants the mid-range J. That'll go. Gorgeous bucket by Ashton Munson. He's on the board. It's 8-3. to three. Mentioned during the pregame, the point guard Ashton Munson has just been so effective this season. He continues that here tonight early. Lots of contact right there, digging at the ball right in front of the Hurricane bench. And so the jump ball will go right back to East Hamilton and the Hurricanes. 
Labou will inbound this one over to Herman. Caden Herman and East Hamilton leading by five here early, just a few minutes gone in period number one. Flip to the corner, Ashton Munson wants the three ball, it comes up short. Didn't have enough juice on it, now it skeeters over the baseline. And so Reed Conley will get us back underway here as he inbounds for the Chargers. CCS, Dre Jackson running the floor. Long feed down inside, wasn't looking for it. Back up to Dre. Westmore shouting out. Calling a play here for the offense. Two quick passes from the corner. He wants three. This one rattles off the side of the iron for Conley. So the Hurricanes man, Ashton Munson, will run the floor from along the arc. Three and a half minutes gone here in period number one, Caden Herman. He's gonna pull up from long range and that'll go! And that's the story of this season for Caden Herman. He continues his success from all across the hardwood, scoring big buckets. It's been all year long for him. It's been just like this. He's already up to nine points here. They only have 11 points. We're not even halfway through the first period. He's up to nine points already. That's what you can expect for the rest of this contest. He will be just electric. And an 11-3 to run to open the contest here in the first four minutes of play for East Hamilton. They're looking good early. They're looking sharp offensively here on East Hamilton TV. What a great start to this contest between the Hurricanes and the Chargers. Back onto the floor here. Chattanooga Christian working with the ball. Trying for the Euro step right there and got jostled hard by Juan Bullard. Reed Connolly thought he had a lane. Tried to take it up and in through the paint. Roddy now will inbound for CCS. Looks both ways. Comes down to Conley. Reed Conley taking it inside the double team right there. He lost it on his way up and inside. Roddy again inbounding. We're halfway through period number one. Chargers around the arc, wants the deep three. This one comes up shy. Big high bounce, Herman with it now. Herman, backdoor feed. Zach LeBou with a pump, now it's taken away. Gorgeous play defensively by Dre Jackson. Jackson has it stolen right back. Ashton Munson, he has help backdoor. That goes off the glass. And who else but young Mr. Caden Herman who gets the bucket off that beautiful play, but he's still down on the offensive end of the floor. Hopefully he's all right. I'm not sure if he came down on his knee funny or somebody landed on it. So Herman has stood up, but is not making his way off of the floor. And looks like he'll get a little help and be able to make his way off to be checked out. 
Three and a half left to go here in period one. We'll get back underway. Hopefully he's all right. Caden Herman scored 11 points in just four and a half minutes. Just 16 scored in the game so far. He scored most of them. First one off the mark for Dre Jackson at the line. Bullard gets the board. Scoreless there and his chance at the charity stripe. Trouble for the Hurricanes here, the triple team by the Chargers. Long feed to Wandrick Bullard. Juan Bullard, just an absolute superstar for East Hamilton this season. Fighting down inside and the foul there. First one will go at the line there. Juan Bullard is on the stat sheet, his first point of the evening. Second one rattles around and drops for him. Stinson took the inbound. Couple of quick passes here. Conley running the floor. Wants to take it inside. Big collision with Zachariah Labou there. Now stolen by Munson. Munson takes it himself with a little kiss off of the glass. Four points for Ashton Munson. It's 17 to three. Long ball, this one rattles around, comes off the front side, boarded by Juan Bullard. Munson with a nasty spin move, trying to get around Conley, and now the whistle. Conley and Houston right there bringing the heat. Looked like he wanted to bust his shot, just couldn't get it off. It's a 14-point ball game with two and a half left to go here in period number one. A 13-0 run since the first couple of minutes of this contest for East Hamilton is snapped right there with a gorgeous drive by Baldwin. Baldwin going to get on the stat sheet as well. Caden Baldwin saw the opportunity and seized it. Munson working the handles here. Fades and fires as he falls to the floor, unable to drop that one in. Baldwin going to go again. A whistle before he can complete his motion here, driving towards the basket. Team fourth foul as Baldwin will go to the line. He's not complaining. Munson gets a change for Donovan Harris. Baldwin gets his second. Baldwin up to three points. It's an 11 point ball game. Long feed to the back side of the floor. Now from just beyond the arc, this one takes a big high bounce. Regathered by the Hurricanes, fighting with it here and tackled to the floor by a pair of defenders. Passed away, second chance bucket no good either as there is another collision down low. 94 seconds left in period number one. That is a team fifth foul against the Hurricanes right there. Yeah. 
Adarius Brewster up there defensively. Bringing some pressure against Trey Jackson. Now he's double teamed. Jackson goes to Baldwin. Baldwin, nice little play right there at the plate. Dropped it in off of the glass. Caden Baldwin, good for five points already. It's 17 to eight. Adarius Brewster wants three and that'll go. Put him on the stat sheet. 20 total points for the Hurricanes now. And this man wants all the points. It's again Caden Baldwin. Had some space to work with. Tried to take it down inside himself. And he's fouled in the process. He'll take it. Headed back to the charity stripe again. Caden Baldwin already up to six points here this evening. We're just in the first period. Under a minute to go in this frame. Second one won't go either for Baldwin. Remains a 12-point ball game. Here come the Hurricanes offensively. Harris, he wants three. Pulls up and lets it fly. It's a little wide on him. Second chance bucket will go for the big man. Zachariah Labou opens the scoring on his end of the stat sheet. 22 seconds left in this first period. The handoff. Close side over to Jackson, who wants three. Big high bounce. Labou gets the board. Has it torn away there by Caden Baldwin. And there's the whistle. Well, both Labou and head coach of the Hurricanes, Andy Webb, contesting the call there as Labou is hit with a foul as he battled for the board. He gets a change out of the game. Chargers get the basketball. Big high pass, roped close side of the arc. This one comes up just short. Kissed off the front of the iron. Here comes Donovan Harris. Moving with great pace and just kind of lost that one. Fell out of his pocket right there. 3.3 seconds left to go in this first period. Hurricanes will inbound. This will probably be it. The inbound to the arc. Two seconds. One. Fires in motion. That'll go as time expires. Well, there you go. One period is in the books. It's 24 to 8. All East Hamilton. After one period of play, you don't go anywhere. Number two getting underway here from the campus of East Hamilton High School in Nunawa, Tennessee. It's the Chargers and the Hurricanes. And so far, it has been a storm here for East Hamilton. They've been electric. Even the end of period number one, those final two minutes, 10 points were scored, seven by the Hurricanes, three by the Chargers. 
Juan Bullard picks up his second foul right there. So the Chargers go to the line right away here. Easy point right there for Dre Jackson. Second will go as well for Jackson. Makes it a 14 point ball game. Here comes the Hurricanes. Harris to Bullard now to Munson in the corner. Ashton Munson. Back to Juan Bullard. Ball is loose. Munson going after it there and tripped up. I'm not sure if he was grabbed or what. Lincoln Scruggs was right there. He's hit with a foul. I think he grabbed the leg of young Mr. Reed Conley, and so he'll go to the charity strike. Ray Jackson, quick pass. Now here's the three ball from the big man. Not enough touch on it for Baldwin. Caden Baldwin took the long shot. Juan Bullard gets the board. Bullard, the entry pass to Labou, who is taking out defenders down there in the paint. They'll hit him with a foul. Three fouls already on Zachariah Labou. We're not even 60 seconds into the second period. So that's something that Andy Webb and the Hurricanes are going to have to watch out for, getting in foul trouble. Especially when you're missing a star athlete like Caden Herman. No sign of him since he left the floor. Trey Jackson running things offensively for the Chargers. Quick pass, three ball from way back beyond the arc, and now a jump ball. Brewster and Wesher tugging at that one. Hurricanes will have possession. That's Bullard to Harris to get things started. Brewster with it, over to Munson. Working it all around, Lincoln Scruggs wants a three and swish it goes down the drain. What a ball. Lincoln Scruggs opening up scoring here tonight. He's been very efficient this season. Brewster gonna pick up a foul here. What a look by Lincoln Scruggs just a moment ago to drain in that beautiful three ball. Made it a 17 point ball game. 146 gone here in period two. Hurricanes are on a 12 to five run over the last four minutes of play. This one rattles around and goes. Hayden Lyons 
opens up his scoring here tonight. Darius Brewster back to the close side. There's the drive, pass out to Juan Bullard. He wants one from the arc, it won't go. Too much juice on it. Jackson to the corner, looking for three. This one rattles around, won't drop. Battle for the ball right there, it's a jump ball and so possession will go to Chattanooga Christian. Inbound coming from Eli Houston. Ashton Munson defensing him. Looks like he's going to try to go to Jackson, who's defended by Bullard. Bringing the heat, a double team. Passed away quickly. Looking inside and nearly intercepted by Donovan Harris. Two quick gives, Jackson with it now. Defended by Bullard, he passes it away. There's the three, skiffs off the front of the iron. Baldwin has it for the moment. Long ball, that'll go. Eli Houston getting on the stat sheet. 27 to 14 now. Here come the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. Munson with it for the moment. Three minutes gone in quarter number two. Adarius Brewster looked like he wanted to pull that one and now the whistle, a travel call down there in the corner. Long pass right away up the floor to Baldwin. Two quick gives, now a deep three and it's a dagger. Dre Jackson from over the train tracks, what a ball. That makes it a 10 point ball game. Here comes Brewster looking to respond. The floater off the mark, boarded carefully by Wesher. Here's another three, this one didn't have enough on it. Second chance bucket will go. Eli Houston again, he's good for five. And suddenly Chattanooga Christian and the Chargers heating up a bit. What a run for them. They've got nine uncontested points in the last three minutes. That's the kind of run they needed to climb back into this game. East Hamilton sees that run, understands the danger of that run. They call for the timeout. They're going to take a break, gather up on the bench, and the Chargers will take advantage of that break and timeout as well. They want to keep this momentum going, keep it rolling, and see if they can capitalize and get this to be a close game again. Great turnout here tonight. Full gymnasium on senior night. The student section is overflowing down onto the hardwood here. They're too deep on the floor. Four minutes left to go in the first half of play from the campus of East Hamilton High School. Both teams making their way back onto the hardwood. Wondrick Bullard will inbound this one. Ashton Munson will run the floor. Coming up to greet him is Dre Jackson. Darius Brewster. Back up top, won't be there for long. Here's the drive and a bit of a collision there as Juan Bullard tries to pass it away. Ball will go back to the Chargers and Chattanooga Christian. And Juan Bullard not happy with that call. Juan 
Westmore calling out to Baldwin here, who's down on the offensive end. Quick pass, immediate three, and it's good. Reed Conley looking gorgeous from downtown Chattanooga right there. That's a long ball. It's just a five-point ball game. Pretty unbelievable. Ashton Munson from just inside of the arc. That rattles all around and is boarded by Baldwin. Another three ball, and again it's Eli Houston. He's hot, eight points for him. It's a two point ball game. Three minutes left to go in the first half. Munson wants the three from way back beyond the arc. That one will go up and out of play as it touches the joist above the net. Chargers inbound over to Jackson. Jackson and Houston bringing up the floor together. Munson way out to greet the point guard. Pass inside to Baldwin, cleared for takeoff. Number 23 with a little kiss off the glass. He's good for seven points. We're all tied up, 27 to 27. And with 2.38 left to go, here in the first half of play, it's all tied up, and Andy Webb and the Hurricanes will take another timeout. What a dramatic swing here on East Hamilton TV. I'm not even sure how to recap what we've seen. Not a single lead held by the Chargers. It was tied at 2-2 two to two, about 40 seconds into the game, and it's been all East Hamilton since then. They went on a 13 to nothing run in the four, first four minutes. They went on a big run again towards the end of the first period, 7-3. to three. Then it was a 9 nothing run by the Chargers and Chattanooga Christian, and ever since then, they've been duking it out. They went on that 9-0 run, and they kept it going. Now we're all tied up, 27-27. Two and a half left to go in the first half following this timeout. Laboo looking for the easy bucket here. Big move and gets that one to drop in. So that snaps a 17-0 run by the Chargers. Laboo now up to four points on the evening. Harris greeted by Houston. Double teamed by Houston and Jackson. He's in a bit of trouble. Goes to the back end. Adarius Brewster from down low in the paint and the whistle sounds as Baldwin greets him. Caden Baldwin, that's his second foul here of the evening. Just over two minutes left to go in period number two in a two point ball game. That sends Darius Brewster to the charity stripe. He gets his first. Makes it a three-point ball game. Second will go as well. Brewster up to five points, it's 31-27. Couple of quick passes now, here's the deep three, that one clattered off the heel of the iron. Chattanooga Christian picked that one up, took a step right there, can't do that. And the guard turns that one back over to the Hurricanes in East Hamilton. Ashton Munson will run the floor, gives it off to Donovan Harris.
Brewster back to Harris. Adarius Brewster with a step goes up to the elbow and gives it off. Now the deep ball, that one comes up short. Boarded by Dre Jackson. Jackson passes it to the close side and it is packed. Adarius Brewster got the block and a little bit of contact with Wesher right there. Came down, ran into him, so they'll send him to the line. 78 seconds left in the first half. He's looking to cut into this four point lead. He will. Big time to do it. Second will go as well. And as they say, the Cardinals sent a basketball fouling out there along the arc. That's exactly what we're seeing here. Can't quite make it a one point ball game, makes it a two point game. Just over a minute left to go in the first half, 31-29. Hurricanes working it all around, Brewster to the close side. Lincoln Scruggs wants to take it himself off the glass. The roll doesn't quite stay high enough on the backboard. Here's a chance for the Chargers and again blocked by Adarius Brewster. He's got a little bit of fire in his belly. Long pass to Wesher. Defended by Bullard. The handoff. Wants to take it inside. The intercept by Ashton Munson. Munson, good chance, gets it off the glass. Ashton Munson up to six points now. This one taken away again by the Hurricanes. This time it's a Darius Brewster. His shot goes wide right. Boarded by Jackson. Another three by the Chargers. This one came off the front of the iron. And so with 13.8 seconds left to go in this first half, the clock will stop. And so a timeout down on the floor near the end of this second frame of action. Both teams eager to capitalize on these last few moments. Don't want to go into halftime losing momentum. I was certain at the end of period number one, the story of this game would be East Hamilton and the Hurricanes running away with it. But that's what's so great about sports. The winds can shift, things can change in any moment, and that's exactly what happened. The Chargers stuck with it, stayed strong, and pulled off a 17-0 run starting in the early portions of this second period, lasting until just moments ago that put them back in the ball game. Right now, they trail by just four. 12 seconds left in period two. Munson walking it up. Defended by Jackson, passes it away. Six seconds left. The handoff, three seconds. One second left, pulling up and firing from beyond the arc. That will not go. So the first half of action is in the books. It's a four-point ball game, 33-29. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton lead here in Ottawa. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.
Welcome back here to the campus of East Hamilton High School. Boys High School Hoops on East Hamilton TV. Gabriel Fry here. I appreciate you tuning in and joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, support our work. At the halftime break, 33-29, the lead with East Hamilton and the Hurricanes after a 17-0 run by the Chargers to climb back into this one. An electric first half of play. From the corner, Darius Brewster won at three and the board gathered up there by Stinson. Jermaine Stinson gets the Chargers moving. Chargers wearing gold with blue accents. The Hurricanes wearing white with green accents. 30 seconds off the clock already here in period three. Ashton Munson. That's Laboo, the big man, who passes it over to Brewster. What a battle through traffic by Juan Bullard. That's kind of what you expect out of him. He's a big physical presence on the floor, and he makes plays like that week in and week out. Four points for him on the evening. Ball is loose. Juan Bullard, the first one to it. One-on-one -on -one scoring chance off the glass, and this one boarded by Baldwin. Using that big frame to get the orange back to the offensive end, wanting three. This one takes a big high bounce. Another chance at three here, and that'll go from the corner for Chattanooga Christian. It's Reed Conley. He's got eight. Makes it again a three-point game, not for long. Ashton Munson with a response, 38-32 now. Munson is good for nine points. He's been so consistent scoring, so efficient scoring this season. Baldwin ladles this one to the top of the arc. The three ball comes up short. Second chance bucket dropped in carefully there. Trey Jackson good for seven points. From the corner for three, Brewster. Couldn't drop that one in. That's going to be a Charger basketball. Long pass up the floor. Wants three. Didn't have enough juice on that one. And Darius Brewster trying to run around the defender. Uses those wheels and gets the bucket. 40 to 34. Coming for the quick response. Here comes the Chargers. From mid-range, that one takes a big high bounce and drops in. Brewster's up to seven points. That was Dre Jackson, who's up to nine. Still a four-point game. Bullard to the back side of the floor. Munson. Defended by Baldwin, double teamed by the big men. Trying again, and he is cut down inside. Trey Jackson got between him and the basket, took him down hard. So Munson will go to the line with 5.05 left in period three. It was a four-point game at the halftime break. It was a four-point game until Munson hit that one from the charity stripe. Three minutes gone in period three. It stayed neck and neck, even though we've seen a lot of scoring already. Munson gets his second as well. He's up to 11 points already. It's 42 to 36, a six point game. Quick response here, the shot comes up short, second chance bucket will find the bottom. Wesher up to four points now. 
And a timeout down on the floor. Early timeout here and both programs gonna I've been bamboozled. There's no timeout. That was a lie. Here's the long ball. I think the official thought there was a timeout and it wasn't. Quick sub. Munson fires. Regathered here by the Chargers. Ladling that one from just inside the paint and dropping it down into the twine. Gorgeous bucket right there by Reed Conley. He's up to 10 points now. Just a two point ball game. Peyton Harris wants the three ball. That one jumps back out on him. Juan Bullard fighting for it. Double teamed by the big man. He's able to pass it away to Ashton Munson. To Brewster. Brewster battles it down inside to Juan Bullard who finesses that into the twine. Through the contact, he's up to six points now and it's still a four point game. That is a deep three, it won't drop. Took a big high bounce and gathered by the Hurricanes. Three and a half left in period three. Brewster with a floater that'll go. The whistle sounds as he delivers that one. So he'll go to the line. Chance at the old fashioned three point play. Won't get it. Brewster up to nine points here. It's a six point ball game. Driving, firing, that'll go off the glass. Jackson up to 11 points. And we're back to a four point game. This one is tight. Trailing big in the first half, Chattanooga Christian dug deep. Found what they needed to get back in the game with a 17 point run. And it's been about a four point ball game since then. Brewster from the corner, jostled and loses it. Couldn't regather it as Baldwin takes it away from him, but it'll roll out of play off of his hand. So Brewster will inbound now. Or maybe Lincoln Scruggs will inbound as Adarius Brewster is going to take a break. Scruggs over to Ashton Munson. Munson with a turn from the elbow. He's in trouble. Stolen away. Here comes Baldwin. Baldwin driving into the paint and he is blocked down inside. Big time defensive play by Scruggs. He wants another. He gets it. Fed down the floor up to Ashton Munson and the whistle before he can get the shot off. So Juan Bullard gonna pick up the foul. That's his fourth. Very early in period number three to have four fouls. Such a key piece of this basketball program for East Hamilton High School. Just under two and a half minutes left to go here in period three still. Dre Jackson walking this up the hardwood. Yo-yo's his way up to the line. The hand off the bald one. Beautiful play. My goodness. Baldwin with a spin, takes it inside himself, drops it into the twine. Two minutes left here in period number three. And the response by Ashton Munson and the Hurricanes, it's again a four point game. Ashton Munson good for 13 points on the evening. Baldwin gets another bucket right there. Caden Baldwin just a machine down inside. He's good for 11 points.
Coach trying to shout out to his guys here. They're back in a defensive shell. From the elbow, Ashton Munson with air mail. He's good for 15. And it's again a four point ball game. Swatted at, lost. Here we go from long range. That's off the mark for Dre Jackson. Second chance bucket will go, and that makes it a two-point ball game. Here with 70 seconds left to go in period three. Don't go anywhere. It's TWS Double A Hoops on East Hamilton TV. It's a tight one. It's a fun one. We'll be here with the rest in just a moment. As tight as this ball game has been here tonight, all the way through this third period and at the end of that first half of play, there's only been one tie. That was just a few seconds in. It was two to two. And the Chargers have never led. They haven't tied it since just a few seconds into the game. They're threatening to do so now, and the Hurricanes are well aware of it. If they'll work offensively here. They lead by two, 50 to 48, 60 seconds left in period three. Brewster fires as he fades. It's regathered by Benjamin Duffy. And he takes a few shots before it's swatted away aggressively there. Jermaine Stetson letting him have it, but that'll send him to the line. First one will go for Duffy. His first point of the evening. Second one off the mark. Here come the Chargers. Pass back side from three point range. That comes up short. Chattanooga Christian loses it here. One man all alone and this one bounces out on him but Adarius Brewster will put it back. Lincoln Scruggs gets the little assist from Brewster, who's up to 11 points. It also means the Hurricanes have a five-point lead. Scruggs gets the board. He's in trouble. Able to dribble out of that, battling along the timeline. Flipped it over to Munson, now to the corner. No good for Brewster. Caden Baldwin gets that one, flipped it over. Dre Jackson. Jackson fires as time expires on the first half. 14 points for Dre Jackson, and period number three is in the books. It's 53 to 51. We'll take a break, be back with the final frame in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
to go here on East Hamilton TV. Thanks for being with us from the campus of East Hamilton High School. Gabriel Shry here bringing you all of the action between the Chargers of Chattanooga Christian and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. The Chargers trailing by just two. They haven't tied the game since the opening minute. Trying to do so right there, and that one's off the mark. Dre Jackson just a bit too much on that one. Chattanooga Christian has not had the lead in one portion of this night. The inbound working it around the arc. Driving, firing off the glass. That rims around, won't go. Second chance put back is dropped in by Jermaine Stetson. Stetson up to three points. It's a tie ball game. The first time since the opening minute here tonight. 53-53. Harris, firing Munson, that one off the mark. Thought he could hit that one as he faded. Dre Jackson will run the floor, 60 seconds gone here in the final frame. Here's the three ball, that one's wide right. Hurricanes, Harris to the corner to Brewster. Brewster takes it himself and drops this in from the edge of the paint. Gives the Hurricanes a two-point lead, 55 to 53. Darius Brewster up to 13 points. Chad Christian nearly has this intercepted by Ashton Munson. Reed Connolly with a cross, tries to hit it from three-point range. Second chance bucket will go. Jermaine Stinson up to five points. We're all tied up at 55. Second tie of the second half. Ball is loose, Stinson falls on it. Now these two clubs gonna take a timeout down here on the floor. All tied up at 55. Two minutes gone already in quarter number four. Four ties here in tonight's game. And the story of this game has gotta be that 17 nothing run. East Hamilton jumped out to an electric start, built up a huge lead. Their largest, probably 24 to eight. And then from there, it was all Chargers. They went on a 17 nothing run. And ever since that run, which ended with our second tie of the game at 27 to 27, it's been about a four point ball game. Back and forth, back and forth, all through the end of that second period, all the way through period number three, and we got a tie just moments ago, 53-53, and we're tied again now at 55. The inbound for the Chargers. Seeking their first lead of the evening. Duffy getting after the guard right there. The whistle will sound. Dre Jackson going to be hit with a foul there. The inbound for the Hurricanes.
Juan Bullard to Munson. Defended by Dre Jackson. Duffy to Brewster. Brewster gets the pick. Fires from long range, nothing doing. Came up short, the outlet pass to Baldwin. Caden Baldwin wanted to go all the way to the rack, somehow keeps it alive for the Chargers. Now down low, back door, it's Caden Baldwin. Their first lead of the evening brought to them by Mr. Baldwin, who has 13 points. Duffy off the glass, that'll go. We're tied again. Our fifth tie. Duffy up to three points now. Chargers get off the three and they'll find Twine. It's Dre Jackson again, he's up to 17. Three-point ball game, four and a half left in the game. Munson wants to tie it back up and he will. Ashton Munson with a big time bucket. He's up to 18 points. Hurricanes in trouble here. Darius Brewster, lots of contact as he tried to take it into the lane. Munson off the inbound. From just inside the arc, that one comes up short. Reed Conley, defended by Adarius Brewster. Conley back across, and this one from just inside the arc will come up short. Ashton Munson with a laser pass to the back door, and it can't be dropped in by Benjamin Duffy. Now the Chargers want to answer, they'll get another three. It's Reed Conley. Reed Conley up to 13 points. It's 63 to 60 with 324 left to go. Six ties in tonight's game. Just one lead change. Munson from the charity stripe gets that one, makes it a two-point ball game. Munson is up to 19 points. Makes it a one-point game, Munson is up to 20. Good pass inside. Around the arc, the three ball, this one, just wide right on the Chargers. A good look there, Dre Jackson had to take it, just couldn't get it to drop. And now a timeout down on the floor, 2.47 left to go. It's a one point ball game. And the lead with the Chargers of Chattanooga Christian. Don't go anywhere, East Hamilton TV. Tight ball game, TWS, double A action.
tonight we've had just one lead change. We've had six ties. That lead change didn't come until just a few moments ago. Just over five minutes left to go in this contest. Chattanooga Christian found themselves on top and it's been about a four point game since there were just under two minutes left to go in the second period. East Hamilton looking to regather the lead. Cannot do so here. Donovan Harris took it himself down into the paint. Tried to put it in off of the glass. Ray Jackson with it, defended by Harris. Jackson has 17. Gives it off there and Munson thought he had the steal. There's the whistle. Two minutes and some change left to go in this one point ball game. The inbound, the kiss off the glass. It's good for Dre Jackson. He's up to 19. 65-62, three point game. This is Juan Bullard. Bullard defended by Jermaine Stinson. Throws it away quickly to Munson. Munson defended by Jackson. He's double teamed now. Wants to take it himself. Fades and fires this one wide right. Gathered by Houston. The outlet pass and packed by a Darius Brewster who suffers a major collision midair and goes down hard. Looks like he'll be all right. Brewster will get a change here for Lincoln Scruggs. Ball will be inbounded from just in front of the Charger bench by Caden Baldwin. 147 left to go in the game. Three point ball game, Charger lead. Ray Jackson with it. Jackson drives, fires. This one rims around, comes out on it. Zachariah LeBou gets the board. 90 seconds. Andy Webb calling out to his players. Juan Bullard to Labou, to the close side to Harris. He wants that three, pulls up and gets it. Harris with his first bucket of the game and it's a clutch three to tie us up. Our seventh tie, 69 seconds left. And now a scrap for the basketball has got the fans all fired up. against the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. At such a pivotal moment, during a tie with just over 60 seconds remaining, Dre Jackson goes to the line and gets his first. He's good for 20 points. Still just one lead change. Sixty-seven to sixty-five. Trey Jackson takes the inbound. Leading by two, the Chargers want to try and burn some clock. Jackson drives, fires this one, regathered by Chattanooga Christian, being harassed down underneath the basket. Now a timeout down on the floor. Just under 51 seconds remain here on the campus of East Hamilton High School. Chattanooga Christian and the Chargers possess the basketball. 
East Hamilton and the Hurricanes are trailing. Senior night at home in front of a packed set of stands. I don't think East Hamilton would have it any other way. Westmore and Andy Webb talking to their guys, trying to draw up the strategy that they think is going to work best. Anyone who's joined us here late, Chattanooga Christian crawled back from a huge deficit in the first period. At one point, they trailed 22 to 8. They went on a 17 0 run, which is how they got back in the game. And since they went on that run, the largest differential has been six points. It's been about a four point game the entire time. We've had seven ties, one lead change. They took the lead. with just over five minutes left to go in the fourth period and haven't lost it since. What will East Hamilton do? What can they do? We'll find out. Time is winding quickly. Reed Connolly with the ball. 40 seconds left now. And there you go. The turnover to East Hamilton. At such a pivotal moment. Time winding, two point ball game. Here comes Harris and the Hurricanes. Juan Bullard with it, Bullard. The entry pass to LeBou, who gets the dunk to tie the game. He's up to six points, we're tied at 67. 20 seconds remain. The handoff, Baldwin, he has been fantastic today. Tried to give it off to a teammate down inside and there you go. Another turnover. And a timeout down on the floor with 12 and a half seconds remaining. Eight ties throughout the course of this game. The most recent coming, yes, with 20 seconds remaining. Leading scores here tonight, leading all scores with 20 total points. Dre Jackson, he's been fantastic, eight points. For Eli Houston, 13. For Reed Conley, 13. For Caden Baldwin, who is trying to make that big play down low. Leading scores to the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School, 11 points for Caden Herman. He did all that in the first period. Pretty unbelievable. Ashton Munson with 20 total points here tonight, and 13 for Adarius Brewster. The Hurricanes in East Hamilton knowing Andy Webb. They're going to try to go for the win here. Chattanooga Christian knows that as well. They'll be back in a defensive shell. The inbound, Ashton Munson, lots of space, nine seconds. Munson fires from just inside the arc. It's off the mark. He gets it back, fires again, evading defenders, regathered by Bullard, and he goes down hard as the ball goes back to the Chargers. 2.1 seconds, tied at 67. Baldwin will inbound. And another timeout down on the floor before he can get it rolling. Much of the crowd on their feet here on the campus of East Hamilton High School, at least on the home side of the stands. Westmore and the Chargers have 2.1 seconds to find some miraculous way to put a dagger in.
The Chargers are back on the hardwood. Here come the Hurricanes. Baldwin, inbounds, one second. Just tosses one up and it's wide right by a couple of foot. We're gonna get some free basketball here on the campus of East Hamilton High School. Overtime coming up. Just a few moments, don't go anywhere. This is East Hamilton TV. started in just a moment four minutes to be played one winner will go home tonight anyone just joining us the Hurricanes in East Hamilton wearing white with green accents the Chargers in Chattanooga Christian wearing yellow with blue accents Chattanooga Christian comes away with the orange first down to the offensive end of the hardwood driving inside and ladling that up and in quick bucket for Dre Jackson he's up to 22 points Two-point lead. The entry pass to LeBou swatted at. Picked up by Eli Houston. Houston will go ahead and run the floor. With such limited time in overtime, the Chargers would love to extend that lead. Westmore shouting to his guys. Dre Jackson surveying the floor before passing it away. A wild shot here gathered by the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. Long ball up the floor. Back out to Munson. Munson looking for a teammate. There was nobody there. Reed Conley gets it. Conley going to be credited with a steal for that one. Fires it. This one rattles around. Boarded by Labou. I think the nerves are getting the best of these young men. This has been an electric contest to this point. Lincoln Scruggs gave it away. Over to Harris. Harris, oh, gives it away again. Jermaine Stinson. Stinson. Back door to Baldwin. 71 to 67. A four point game. Caden Baldwin has been so good here tonight. He's up to 15 points. Such an important piece of the puzzle for Chattanooga Christian. We're nearly halfway through this overtime period. We've only seen two buckets. They've both been by Chattanooga Christian. The Chargers to the offensive end. Burning a little clock here, it's Dre Jackson. He's gonna take his time before passing it over to Baldwin. Caden Baldwin makes a move, flipped it to the corner. The long three, big high bounce. Boarded momentarily by LeBou and sent out of play by Jermaine Stinson. Neck and neck, eight ties throughout the course of this game. And that's what the Hurricanes are seeking right now. Just one lead change. Five minutes left in the game. The Chargers got their first lead of the game and they haven't relinquished it since. Juan Bullard feeds it to Munson from the elbow. That one takes a big high bounce, regathered by the Hurricanes. Bullard for a moment, now taken somehow by Eli Houston. Long feed up the floor. Baldwin, one man to beat. It's big Zachariah Labou. Houston to Dre Jackson, 90 seconds left. The Hurricanes have to create a turnover here.
Munson fouls there. The inbound. Trying to drive is Reed Conley. To the back side of the floor. Baldwin had a chance to put it away. Jermaine Stinson does. That's a huge bucket for Jermaine Stinson. 73-67, just seconds remaining in overtime. 70 to be exact. Darius Brewster to Munson. 67 seconds. Munson fires the three. This one is off the mark. Regathered by Juan Bullard. The putback is blocked by Jermaine Stinson. Another chance, and going down hard is Donovan Harris. Under one minute to go here in Udawa. Peyton Harris to the charity stripe here. Six point ball game. go for Peyton Harris. It makes it a five-point game. And East Hamilton will take a timeout. They trail by five in what has otherwise been a very, very tight game. 57 seconds left to go. That free throw by Peyton Harris snaps a 6-0 run here in overtime by the Chargers. Under one to go here in overtime, the Hurricanes are back onto the hardwood. Baldwin to inbound for Chattanooga Christian. Chattanooga Christian working it all around. Trying to burn clock. Intercepted by Juan Bullard. Bullard gave it to Scruggs. Comes right back to him. He wanted to pull up for three. Driving. Has it stripped away. Goes down hard. Passed over to Dre Jackson. Jackson not fouled by Brewster. Ball is loose. Now they'll call for the foul. 36.2 seconds showing in overtime. And so that'll send Dre Jackson to the line to nurse a five-point lead. He's been very, very effective here today. He has 22 total points. No small amount coming at the line. First will go. This coming from a tech. Second goes as well. Jackson up to 24. And now 25 points for Dre Jackson.
26 points for Dre Jackson. And so a timeout down on the floor. But that tech will just about wrap this one up. A, a nine point advantage. Simply just too much to overcome here in overtime. Of course, if I say that, they'll find some way. But 36 seconds is not a lot of time. What a story this game will be for the grandkids, for the players on this Chattanooga Christian team. Back in my day, we were trailing. Went on a 17 point run, kept it neck and neck until there were five minutes left in regulation. Took our first lead of the game. Throughout the course of the game, we were tied eight different times. Forced overtime. Never gave up the lead again. Went on a six nothing run. Had it snapped, then got the tech. It looks like that'll be the story of this one. Just under 37 to go. The Chargers inbounding. Dre Jackson with it. Jackson loses it, Ashton Munson coming up the floor, one man to beat and he is packed by him. Goes down hard as the whistle sounds. Jermaine Stenson was able to keep pace, get a hand on the ball but pushed Munson to the floor along with it. That'll result in a foul and send Ashton to the line. No good. That one drops, makes it an eight point ball game. Munson trying for another steal here and gets hit with a foul. Reed Conley able to protect the rock from him. And so Munson will foul out. That's his fifth. Twenty-one point six seconds left. Reed Conley to the line. Munson had a big night, finishes with 20 total points, continues his great season running the point. First will go for Reed Conley. Nine point ball game. Second will go as well. 15 points for Reed Connolly here tonight. 79-69. Just some change left in overtime, 17.7 seconds. Pass inside, LeBou trying to make some magic happen. Second chance won't go either. Benjamin Duffy fighting for it. Jermaine Stinson loses the ball. Adarius Brewster Love the way that Darius Brewster moves to the basketball. He looks like someone who's about to miss the last cab out of town. Fighting his way down inside. Trying to catch that elevator. And so that'll do it here in overtime. Chattanooga Christian coming back. A 17-0 run in period number two. Eight different ties, one lead change. They were able to hang on to it and extend it greatly in this overtime period. What a win for CCS.
For the Chargers and the Hurricanes, I'm Gabriel Fry saying so long from the campus of East Hamilton High School where the final score is 79-69, a Charger victory. All games and events airing on East Hamilton TV are streamed live and are archived on our YouTube channel. This has been a presentation of East Hamilton High School.